Wilder Flight is one of the more slept on weapons in recent memory. And when I mean slept on, I mean I don't hardly see anyone actually using it, which is crazy because its dual firing frame alone allows it to double its impact damage. And that's before even utilizing any damage perks. On top of this, it has great perk versatility, meaning there's literally something here for everyone, depending on what you want to use this for. Not to mention, it's also the first ever grenade launcher that can roll with Repulsor Brace. So in today's video, I'm going to focus solely on on PvE god rolls to consider. With that said, if you did want to utilize this in PvP, towards the end I will recommend a roll that I think would work well. So diving into the PvE perk combinations, starting off in column 3 and 4, the first perk combination I'm going to recommend here is the classic Vorpal weapon and auto loading holster. This has always been a great perk combination on grenade launchers, giving you that 15% bonus damage to bosses, mini bosses, champions, and even vehicles, which by the way does include fallen servitors as well as cyclopses. As for auto loading holster, the main reason you would go with this perk is so anytime you switch back to this weapon, it's loaded and ready to go, which is especially great during boss DPS if you want to switch back and forth between heavy or another special weapon in your kinetic slot. You could also switch out Vorpa weapon with lead from gold, which when you pick up a power ammo brick, which is going to grant you 25% of your maximum special ammo reserves, which is very useful if you're the type of person that likes to run double special loadouts or if you're using this in more pinnacle content. The second perk combination I would consider here and the one that I I think could end up being really goaded on this weapon is Adrenaline Junkie and Demolitionist. Now typically this is a favored perk combination on primary weapons, but I actually think it can be really fantastic with the right setup. For starters, you have Demolitionist just by getting a kill is going to give you 10% of your grenade back. Not to mention anytime you activate your grenade, it's going to reload this weapon from reserves. And as for Adrenaline Junkie, anytime you get a grenade kill, you're going to proc the five stacks, giving you that 33.3% damage. And it also gives you a plus 20 to handling. Now on the surface, this perk combination might not sound like anything special, but if you're a hunter running your Falcons, all you have to do is dodge to become volatile and then shoot this weapon at a group of adds and you're going to see a ton of them explode with volatile rounds, helping you to proc the higher stacks of Adrenaline Junkie more often, not to mention giving you a ton of your grenade energy back on each kill. You could even take this a step further and switch out Demolitionist for perks like Danger Zone, which is going to increase your blast radius to 100 when you're within 15 meters of three or more enemies. So that's definitely an option to consider. Now, although I think those are going to be the best perk options to go with, and you can really mix and match any of those together, I do want to give honorable mention to two other perks in column four, and that's Frenzy and Disruption Break. For Frenzy, if you want something that's just going to give you passive damage while being in combat, as well as a buffing your reload speed and handling, this really is a great perk just for those passive benefits alone. And a lot of people forget that Frenzy can actually proc even when you're not using this weapon. Just be in combat for 12 seconds, and anytime you switch back to this weapon, Weapon. As long as you're still in combat, you're going to have this perk procced. And that 15% damage might not sound like much, but if you are procking volatile rounds consistently, it can actually be rather useful. As for disruption break, all you have to do with this perk is break a shield and then you switch back to your kinetic weapon and you're going to get a massive 50% buff to your kinetic damage. If nothing else, this is basically free bonus damage for your kinetic weapon. And you could even take this a step further and use a kinetic weapon using osmosis. And if you're able to proc osmosis and volatile rounds, right? Right after switching away from this weapon, you could really get a lot of mileage out of this perk. As for column three, I also think perks like Repulsor Brace and Unrelenting could be good as well. Again, if you're a hunter running your Falcons and you proc volatile rounds consistently, having something like Repulsor Brace can be really useful because you're going to be causing all kinds of enemies to explode and you should be able to get that overshield from Repulsor Brace very often. Same goes for Unrelenting. If you're using volatile rounds and you're able to get multiple kills, you should be able to proc this perk often as well. So those are definitely perks that could could be viable. Moving on to column two with the magazine, I really think there's only two worth considering here. The first being blinding grenades. This is probably going to be the best option for most people because just firing it in the direction of enemies is going to blind them, which is a really fantastic benefit, especially if you're using this in more pinnacle content or solo content. With that said, since you are getting double the impact damage on this grenade launcher compared to others, you could fully spec into damage output with spike grenades. If you paired that with something like danger zone and vorpal weapon or even adrenaline junkie, that's really going to help 
help you output a ton of damage. And finally, for column one with a barrel, you really could go with anything here. It really doesn't matter. I know for me, I'm gonna go for quick launch for that plus 10 to velocity and plus 15 to handling. You could also go with volatile launch if you wanted to increase your blast radius. Just do keep in mind, you will lose a little bit to velocity and handling. As for the masterwork, you really can go with anything here. With that said, if you do go with quick launch, that's gonna max out your velocity. So I wouldn't go with a velocity masterwork. I know for me, since I'm gonna probably be switching back and forth between weapons often, I'm gonna go for handling, but you could also go with reload speed or even blast radius. And for the mod, I'm gonna go for major spec, but if you are gonna use this on a boss, definitely go with boss spec. Now, if you do wanna use this in PVP, the role I would recommend going for in column four, disruption break. For column three, I would go for demolitionist. For column two, spike grenades. And finally, for the barrel, I would go for quick launch. For the mass work, blast radius. And for the mod, quick axis sling. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you so much, Guardians, for tuning in. As always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks again, and I will catch you, Guardians, later.